But when I started thinking of the business, I created my business two years ago. Um, and I started to think, <clears throat> what can I make money out of? I think that's... That's the yeah, problem. That's, that's that a huge is the problem. problem. Yeah, that's a huge problem. That is the massive problem. Yeah. That's what most photographers do. Yeah. And they go, wedding, food photography, product okay. photography. Ports. Let me stop you right there. Yeah. First of all, why did you start taking pictures? Um, the... Was it a passion? No, not from the start, which is pretty weird. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah, I wanted to be an actor. I went to cool drama here. Yeah. Uh, and just after when I was ninth grade, and I lost the monologue. But I had to do it because if I didn't, I was going to regret it. Mm -hmm. And they asked me, if you're not getting in here, what are you going to do? I'm like, oh, repair car cars. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Whatever. I went to high school at a media place and thought if i can't be the successful person in front of the camera i'll be the loser behind the camera whoa is that why you started photography yeah yeah can i give you a tip yeah stop shooting no seriously no i'm not gonna stop shooting all right cool i'm not gonna <laughs> trust me i'm not gonna why the second year why? uh yeah i'm gonna getting to it the, the <laughs> second the second year is i had to create opposites in a photograph and when I did it, I created a photograph. It was horribly photoshopped and everything, but there had there was meaning to it. Mm. And my teacher was like, "That's a great photograph." I'm like, "What are you talking about? The, you can see that it's photoshopped." Mm. Technical. Mm -hmm. I was 16 years old. S exhibition. People are surrounding my photograph, and other people are photographing roses, wrecked cars, mm. black and white. You mm. know. Um, and then I noticed I want to make people feel okay I couldn't do it with an act mm -hmm. I can express my emotional emotions so much better within photography and then like another thing is I walked around outside this was my third year in high school mm -hmm. and I looked at a reflection and I want to photograph my reflection and then I heard some violent noise in the background and what surprised me was, I didn't let go of the camera, I just held it up and was focused. And I pressed the button, and th from there on, I draw inspiration, you know what, I want to create a photograph like this. So I had two friends, or one friend standing here, screaming at another friend who hold up the camera. I draw something in my mind to then apply it to a photograph. Mm -hmm. I was like, this is so cool, I can create stories. I lived that, but I'm telling my version of it. And then I was like, this is what I want to do. Now, now I got the visual part. Mm -hmm. I can create stories. I feel like you're going to be like, <laughs> uh, I can tell stories. But now there are technical laws. Let's study for three years in Australia. Now, I'm only 25. Well, actually, I'm 24. I'm going to turn 25 soon. Um, but now I'm shooting fashion. I'm doing photography jobs. I'm getting paid here and there renting out the studio, but I'm also able to do the stuff I want to do. Mm -hmm. Product called reality sets in, yeah. where, you know, as I told you, the boy who came back, mm -hmm. who got, like, knocked down by reality. And well, going, you know, the thing is that, my, yeah, that's, yeah. That, yeah, that's what we, most of us go through. And, uh, and it's, it's, it's not a surprise, you know, like I told you, if we buy all these lies of right, wrong, good, bad, whatever, then you also buy into the lie of like having to be judged and having to be accepted mm -hmm. and having to fit in rather than like, what do I want to do? How do I create this? How do I do it? Mm. And never stopping, never quitting, never giving in, doing whatever it takes to actually achieve what you would want to achieve. Mm -hmm. 